Okay, we're doing this tutorial on an Android phone. However, it'll work for an iPad or iPhone. Uh, pretty much the same way. You should have the same apps there. But this will definitely get you able to work on an Android phone or an Android tablet. So before you begin, this is step one. There's two programs you need to have. One is Firefox and the other is MS ES File Explorer. And we'll show you that here. So we're gonna hit the market. Okay, and the first thing you need to get is the Firefox browser. So just go in your market, type in Firefox, make sure it comes up to do what you see right here, which is Firefox browser for Android. That's what you should have. And the other one, you wanna type in there, ES, ES file, and this one right here. So when you type it in, ES file manager or ES file explorer, um, it should look just like this blue icon um, This is done in March. So in the future they could change the icon, but the name should still be the same ES file explorer ES file manager So download that uh, you don't need to open this file or the other Firefoxes yet Just make sure you have them installed on your Phone or tablet. I already have it installed. So that's why I didn't download it. Um, I have those two programs. So just go ahead and download both those programs and install them. And after that, we want to go to step two, which is go to your mail and get the information we need. So I'll go back to my home screen. Uh, my mail is in mail.com. And then I go to my inbox. Okay. So once you get to inbox, well, right after you order, about five minutes after you order, you should receive two receipts. One should come from PayPal, which will simply tell you how much you paid. The other should come from us, PA Palace. And so as you see up here, PA Powers Online, that's the one we're looking for. Also, sometimes uh, our mail gets lost in the sauce, but and it gets mixed up as unwanted mail. So I'm going to show you my list of folders. And see that spam box? A lot of times it might go to your spam box. It's not supposed to, but if you don't see it in your inbox, check your spam box. If you got Yahoo, it might be called junk mail or bulk folder somewhere. So either spam box, bulk mail, junk folder, make sure you check those first before email is saying you don't have the email because sometimes it gets sent to there. And to prevent it from being sent to there, all you have to do is add our email address to your contact list, just like you add a, a new phone number to your phone. So we will go back in here to the inbox, and here's our receipt right here. And we're just going to scroll down. But uh, the, the email should have like a little yellow background, a whole lot of words right here, which are the instructions. We do suggest that you do read the instructions, although we're walking you through it right now. Because uh, the instructions will help you from having problems as well. So at this point, we want to go down to the bottom where it gives us a username and a password and a, and a link to click. So we're going to just click on the link right here that says deliver. Okay, and then we have an option up here. And we want to choose Firefox. Firefox is the program that you should now have on your phone or tablet because we just downloaded it from the market. So choose Firefox and, and we just hit just once to open it. It's going to bring us to the delivery page. Okay, at this point, we just want to enter the username and password that we just saw. Okay, and that's my email address. And then we're going to type in the password that we just saw on the previous page. Okay, so once you enter that, next thing we want to do is just hit the login button. And we can disappear that screen. Um, and now we have to download page. So at this point, all we have to do is just hit download. Now, you should only have to click this button one time. If you start clicking a whole bunch of times and stuff like that, you would max out your downloads. If that happens, just email us, but we're just telling you how it happens. It happens from logging in here and then just hitting the button for multiple times. But you don't need to do that. We got one file to download because one CD can have a whole bunch of songs in it. So all we got to do is hit this download button one time. So we're going to hit it now. Okay, on your screen, you see it says download started. So all we got to do is just wait for it to download. And we're going to check. And it says download complete. So at this point, we can click this right here, okay, where it says download complete, or we can just go back to our home page and right where it says ES file, man, this is what we just downloaded from the market. You just wanna go to your download folder and the test file is right here. So what we wanna do now is just open it. So we just click on it. And it's gonna give you an option. 
Now, again, if you downloaded the file that we suggested, which is ES File Manager, it will now give you an option in here that says ES Zip Viewer. Because this is what you need to actually get the music out of it. So what happens is you download one zip file, but if the CD had like 10 tracks, you'll find like 10 songs inside of that. So we click ES File Viewer. Okay, and in the zip file that we download, test file was just a small test file. It only had three tracks. So at this point, we could play it from here by just clicking the file, then just choosing a the music player. I have like five on mine, but you know, you just pick any one. We just can go with music. Okay, and you see it starts playing. However, we do want to actually save the files outside of the zip so we can use them in other programs on your phone. So see the button down bottom right next to refresh called it extract. We're going to hit that. Okay, then it's going to ask us where we want to send them to. Now, what we suggest is to always pick a nice, easy location to remember. So you can keep it right here in test files, which will make a folder in your download on the test file. Or we recommend just choose a path and then just um, making one. So we're going to type a new one and type go, go, G O G O. Okay, and then we're going to select GoGo -Go and hit OK. So now what we're looking at is, is choosing where we're about to extract these files to. So when we're done, we won't be no confusion about well, where are the files that I downloaded, where do I go? They're going to be right on your SD card and then the first folder called GoGo. -Go. If you wanted to, you could save them to your phone internally. It doesn't matter. But the point is it'll be in a nice, easy folder called GoGo. -Go. So we're going to hit OK. Now the screen went pretty fast, but what it did was it extracted the files and we're actually done. So as we're doing this, you know, and you go back to your home page, you're like, well, I want to play my files. Well, you can use any of the many music programs out here, which is fine. But if you ever want to go directly to it, if you really don't know where they're at, we're going to open up the same program that we download, ES File Manager. And I'm just going to go back to uh, the main folder on our SD card, okay? So... And like I said, see this GoGo? -Go? This is what we just made. It's, it's right on the SD card, and it's called GoGo. -Go. So we're going to click in GoGo. -Go. Oh, I clicked too fast, but let's go back. Click in GoGo -Go once, and then the files pop up. So if you ordered Northeast Groove as Backyard, you see the Backyard track. And from here, you just simply click it. Like, just click the first one. And it'll ask you what you want to play it with. So you got to at least have a music player on your phone or tablet, which pretty much everybody does. If you bought a brand new phone, it's going to have at least one program. And you can pretty much use any program to play it. So once again, I just choose a basic music one. So basically, that's it. Um, if you have any problems, you know, you can just give us emails and we walk you back through it. But there's three steps. You're going to get the required programs. One, two, you're going to go to your email and then log in. And three, you just download it. And this last part is where we extract the files like we just did. So if you're a little confused, you can rewind the video and watch back from the start. If you still can't get it, just give us an email at webhelp at peerpals.com. And we do our best to uh, help you out there. And if you and like I said, we recommend these two files to download the music. If you're not going to order from us again or whatever, you can always delete Firefox. You can delete the ES file, man. You don't really need them anymore. But, of course, if you're going to order in the future, then um, you might as well keep them. And Firefox is a nice popular browser, so you might want to keep it on your phone as well. So, that's pretty much it. So, enjoy the music that you downloaded. And any questions, just email us.